No, Mister, I don't think I got mine. I sent back to everybody who sent me their work, so you might need to check your email if you haven't checked it. Oh yes, Miss. Mm -hmm. How is everybody doing today? Guys, how are you doing today? Body's fine. Just upset. Anything new? Why are you upset, Samantha? Just the fact that school is closed until September. <laughs> when you're going, when you guys are going to school, you know, you, a lot of you dread going to school. I know school is closed. Everybody wants to go to school. That is life. That means that you guys may not get to graduate for now either, which is sad. But I guess um, the school will plan something. Anybody else? Sunny says the first you're joining us. Oh no, I've seen you before. So everybody is doing okay. Nobody got Corona. Why nobody not answering? Tasia? Yes, miss. Why everybody silent? I don't know. Why are you silent? All right, so we're continuing with our past paper. Uh, guys, remember though that the past papers are from before now, you are the first batch doing the subject uh, with the new syllabus. So, But TXC mentioned though that they weren't going to change anything as it relates to the structure of the questions and so on. So I think everybody should be okay, but we all need to really study. So I hope that this week we have studied and are ready to answer the questions. So today we're going to be working on, I think this paper is from, let's see what year is this paper. Uh, it looked like 2008, which is a long time ago, however, as it relates to the multiple choice, you'll find that even questions that we went through last week might be on this paper as well. Because CXC really likes, when it comes to multiple choice, the questions repeat a lot. So we just need to practice these past papers as much as possible because normally they repeat. And since they said that they're not changing the structure or anything, then once we are getting through these, I think everybody should be okay. As it relates to SAQ 6 and 8, I still not, have not received for everyone. Um, well, we still have time, so I'm hoping. Mr. Anthony, what did I say? Who is this, DeAndre? Yeah. What do I mean? So, how, didn't you send me SAQ 6, DeAndre? Miss that, we must have WhatsApp that thing. Uh. So is the same, you know how to attach the file is the same like when you're sending your SDA? Yeah, I know about me sending an what I say. Um or red thing come on. It has said something now send. All right, send it to me on WhatsApp. I'll oblige you. All right. Tasia, I don't say I don't see not even SAQ six much less eight from you. And remember guys, you're going to need your grades, all right? Because we're not sure what's happening, so you might still need to get your report. We don't know what's happening with graduation yet nor anything, but still, you need your grades. So, those of you who have not yet sent SAQ 6 and 8, please. I'm giving you the opportunity. I mean, we have the time, so 
Mm, let's say by within the next two weeks, I should get them. All right, so let's go on. Can I get somebody to read, please? Number one. When the computer is working on given instruction, it's called? It is called. All right, anybody? Let's see processing. Correct. Anybody notice this question from last week? I'm almost sure this was on the past paper we did yes, last Ms. week. Yeah. So as I was telling you, a lot of times the questions repeat. So we have to pay attention to those ones that repeat quite often. All right, number two is binary, so we're not doing that one. Number three, somebody read number three. Which of the following is not a function of the control unit? And we're seeing them. Read instructions, interpret instructions, direct operations, execute instructions. I'm almost sure this, this question was on last week's paper as well. Or maybe it was in a different way, but it was similar. Not a function of Ms. the control. Miss C, direct operations. All right. So the following is not a function of the con. Are you sure? Anybody else? Um, Remember, B. Now? B? No. Remember now that the, the control unit, as the name suggests, you know, it controls. It's the part of the CPU that controls and directs and executes and all of those things. So which, which function here do you think that it would not do? Uh, uh, read. Exactly so. We have, to, we have to do the process of elimination. So if the control unit basically control everything that's taking place in the computer, then it has to interpret the instructions, it direct the operations, and it executes the instructions. So the only plausible one there would be that it doesn't read instructions. All right? So that's A. Number five. Which of the following storage media provides sequential access only? All right. By the way, before you answer, what's the difference between sequential access, accessing something sequentially, or accessing a storage media directly? So we have sequential access and direct access to devices. What's the difference between them? Anybody remember? This would have been done in grade 10. 10. Yeah. Guys, a bulk oh, of the paper would be from your grade 10 notes. I think that, remember, I know that mm -hmm. you did most things in grade 10, you know, when you guys got to grade 11, the only topic you have done since grade 11 is programming, you know, you realize that? So mm -hmm. every, every other topic that is on the syllabus, you completed it from grade 10. So you have to stick close to your grade 10 books. Um, and there's mm -hmm. only about... Huh. CXC structure the paper. How they structure the paper? I think there are only 10 questions from programming or 20. So, I mean, you really need to get your grade 10 notes locked. All right, so sequential. And I right, think about it though, even if you don't remember, if I say to you, we have various storage devices, right? CD, DVD, thumb drive, etc. All of these devices. And I say to you, this, this particular device, if you want to access the information on it, you access it directly. However, this one, you access it sequentially, even without remembering what you think that means. Directly, it goes, it goes straight to it. This was sequentially, it goes in sequences. What do you mean? I can't use by the same word, Samantha. It's like steps or categories all right you're getting there yes joel you have to skip to a lot of things to get to one very good so deandre and uh, deandre and joel just um gave us the correct answers all right so with the direct access you can go straight to it tell me a device that you don't have to skip through everything to get to the information that you want on the device a floppy disk 
tell me some modern things that you guys use, modern storage devices that you use, that you don't have thumb to drive. A thumb drive. You don't have to scroll through everything on the thumb drive to, to get to where you want to be. If you want the file that is called DeAndre, you just open it and click DeAndre. All right? Ah. So you go straight to it. While with the sequential, you know, sequential access, if you want a file and it is stored at number 50 on the device, you have to go through one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to 49 to get to that file. So you have to go through all the files that is before that file. So look at these answers now. Optical disk, you may not remember. Optical disk is DVD, CD, and so on. All right, so tell me which one. It's sequential. It's a optical disc, you know. Sequential, CD and DVD. If you want a song on a CD, you have to go through all of them. You can't just press you know, the fast button. No, but all right, listen. If you listen to some, listening to, to some music on a CD, right? And I want to, to play song seven. Can't I just press seven on my remote? True, true, true. Yeah, I don't have to go through everything. Mm. There is one device, and you know, guys, you know, should remember this from grade 10, you know, because there's only one device basically in the entire device set of storage device that stores data um, sequentially, and it's magnetic tape. The magnetic See, tape, magnetic tape, magnetic tape, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but you would have learned it in grade 10, cassettes. You remember old mm -hmm. time radios use cassettes and you have to wind it and whatever yes, yes. to fast forward. So a magnetic tape is like a big cassette and it's used to store large amounts of files by large organizations like banks and so on. I think banks still use magnetic tapes and organizations that do that require to store a lot of backup files. They use them for backup, but they're not used in the regular sphere of work as they used to be used back then so magnetic tape so magnetic tape is one device that stores sequentially cassette is a device that stores sequentially and like cartridge i'm sure the boys especially would remember would know cartridge the game boy cartridge and so on you, no, have, to go, you have to go through everything so those, those, those are the only three examples I can think of both. Magnetic tape, cassette, and cartridge, all right? So the answer for this is C. Number six. Which of the following storage media uses laser technology to store data? All right. No. My CD-ROM. CD-ROM. Correct. Very good, guys. I'm not hearing from some people, though. Is that Ricardo Riley? Good to have you, Ricardo. I've never seen you in any of our classes since we've been having classes. Welcome, Ricardo. And I need your SAQ 6 and SAQ 8. All right, Ricardo? Yeah. yeah. All right, so number six is the CD-ROM. So all, all devices that are optical disc, CD, DVD, Blu-ray, all of those use laser technology to store the data. So Blu-ray uses a blue laser, and CD and DVD uses a red laser. Red. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on, number seven. The technology used to read. Go ahead, Andre. Just the finish this page and then somebody else will pick up at the next page. The technology used to read pencil or pen marks on a multiple choice answer sheet is. Everybody should know this. Or OMR. 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 Very good. This was on last week's paper as well. What does OMR stand for? Optical, Optical. mark reader. All right, good. Number eight. The ver the variable cost balance stores the amount of money owed by customers. Cost balance is most likely to data type. Real. Most likely of what data type? Mm -hmm. Real. Real. Why did you say real? Why did you say real? Because it has money. 
Because you have to do with money. Very good. So once once the, the figure, you're sure that the figure is going to have a point in it, it has to be real. All right. Number nine. The most suitable device for the output of architectural drawing is? Okay. Flutter. Very good. I told you this last week. The architectural drawing. Any kind of drawing that is going to require fine lines and fine details, like the clothes, clothes that are designed, um, architectural drawings, maps of the world, any any kind of intricate intricate details that the the the, uh, the drawing requires or the printing requires, you normally use a mm -hmm. printer to print those, so you can see all the details. All right. Number ten. Which which of the following output is an example of a hard copy? Right. Quick, quick, quick! Everybody should be that. Build uh, B. What what is B? A bill producer. Yeah. So a bill produced by from a printer. All right. So it could be anything Eleven. else. Because everything else would have been soft copy. We're not doing 11 because 11 is binary and binary is not on the new syllabus. Oh. All right. By the way, I see some persons in the SAQ 6 using arrays to answer the programming question. And I did not teach you arrays. Arrays is not on the new syllabus. So I don't know where people get arrays from working out programming in arrays when you did not learn that. And it's not even on the new syllabus. So we have to be careful of what we're doing, guys. And not because the last topic that we did is repeat until it means that all the questions on SAQ 8 is going to be repeat until. You have to read and analyze the questions. All right, somebody else pick up for this page, please. We're starting at number 13. Can we get another volunteer to read? In modern computers, the CPU speed is measured in? All right, let's see. Kilohertz. Huh? A. Kilohertz. No. no. Let's uh, giga. Giga. Let's giga. Gigahertz. 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 Correct, good. Guys, you have to remember these little things, you know, gigahertz. All right, continue, Samantha. Which of the following is not a type of application software? Mm -hmm. So we have two Deep types of hardware. software. What did you Deep say? Deep Hold on. Is D smart draw? No. All right, wait. Deep Deep before you tell me the answer. All right, somebody said the answer. Who is that? Kira? Yes, all right, so She's Kira young. said, which of the following is not a type of application software? Spreadsheet cannot be the answer. All right, so before you tell me the answer, right? There are two types of software. Do you remember them? So one is right here, the application software. Do you remember the other one? System software. Very good, Kira. So we have application software and we have system software. Do you remember the difference between them? I miss. So the, that's DeAndre. DeAndre is speaking for himself. Anybody else? All right. So everybody have apps on their phones, right? Yeah. And we know that apps is short for application. So, what's our application software? Because we have a whole heap of apps on our phones that we use to do all kinds of different things. So, what's our application software? What's our application software? Mm -hmm. we, have a, we have a lot of apps on our phone. How would you define an app? What is an app? That's basically application software. Mm -hmm. So how would you, how would you define that? Um, so I'll start you off. These are software. That's all I'm saying. 
These are These software used. Go again, miss. These are software used. These are software used. To do multiple stuff. <laughs> All right. What did you say, Joel? To perform a, a specific task. That sounds like you go look in your notes, you know, Joel. Mm -mm. Oh, Google. <laughs> oh, you Google it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you have Google to your advantage. Why not use it? All right. So, uh, correct. So, application software are software that are, that are used to do specific tasks. And all the software that we have, all the apps that we have on our devices are used to the different tasks. For example, you have a game on your, uh, your laptop or whatever, your phone, your smartphone. What is, the pur what is the purpose of the game? What specific task? It's for leisure, for fun. Yeah, so that's, that's the purpose of it, right? Entertainment, fun, leisure. We have Microsoft Word. Some of us on our devices. What is the purpose of this? What task does this perform? Just type documents. To type documents or to create documents, right? All right. Mm -hmm. So all that, those are the application software. However, the system software, no, we're not going to remember. The system software is the software that controls the computer, basically controls everything that is taking place on the system, the operations of the computer. The system software includes the operating system, utilities, and translator. Operating system is like, I don't want to tell you yet because I won't tell you the answer. So based on those definitions, tell me the answer and then I'll give you examples of system software. Huh? So which of these would not? Very good, Joel. So this would be, the answer would be Windows. Guys, mute, mute your microphones if your background is noisy, please. Guys. Ricardo, okay, I muted you because it seems like you weren't listening. Your background was very noisy, Ricardo. All right, so which of the following is not a type of application software? And Joel says Windows, and that is correct because Word Processor is an app that we can use for a specific task. Spreadsheet is an app we can use for a specific task. Smart Draw is an app that we can use to draw or whatever, right? So Windows would have been the definite answer here. Windows is a type of operating system, which is a system software. So let me go back to telling you about the system software now. So we have three types, operating system, utilities, and translator. Operating systems are like Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 2000, all the Windows. They have older versions of operating systems like Ubuntu, Linux, Unix, all of those things. You would have gotten a handout with those from grade 10. Um, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to uh, send you all the notes from grade 10 again. Would you be okay with that? Yes, sir. So I'm just yes, going to go yes, through all the topics that we should have covered in grade 10 and I'm going to send all those notes in the group. All right. I may not do it today though, but I'm going to do it. All right. So, and then you have the utilities like the antivirus and so on, so on. The utilities protect the system, firewall, antivirus protection, backup, and disk defragmenter, things like those, all right? So those are system software. All right, continue reading, Samantha, number 15. By the way, we have seven minutes. We know the drill that is going to cut off, and then we'll, I'll send you the next link for us to continue up to five when it cuts off. All right, so go ahead, Samantha. Which of the following is not function of an operating system? All right. 
so everybody can see them so Mrs. Is it D provider friendly interface? No. What's the question said, which is not? B. What, what did you read? No, not B. C. Yeah. So the answer is perform calculations. Which part of the computer system is responsible for performing calculations? Um, what is that name again? We mentioned it in the last class. I think it's actually yeah. there. Yes, Samantha, you're on to it. It's arithmetic or something is can't pronounce it. Arithmetic. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And logic. Yeah, arithmetic and logic units. That part is responsible for, cal for calculations. All right, so the operating system, like I just told you some examples, Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7. The operating system is responsible for providing security, providing a friendly interface. Friendly interface meaning how, how, is the, how is the device set up? As in, when you're interacting with the computer, how do you interact with the computer? Is it a touch screen? Are you seeing a lot of images? Or is it just a boring screen with a list of items and anything you want, you have to click click on, on, on those lists on one of those options? Or is it a blank screen and you have to type anything that you want? So the operating system is responsible for that, the user interface. Um, the operating system provides security and it also controls all the input and output devices. So then, when we're using a computer, if uh, DeAndre, mute, when we're using the operating, when we're using a device, if the operating system is not working, right? The system cannot even turn on because the operating system has to tell the system unit to come up. It has to tell the mouse, the keyboard, the monitor, that when you press the buttons on the monitor and the system unit, the system should boot up. All right, so this so it controls the input and the output devices as well. All right, so the only reasonable answer here is, perform calculation, it doesn't do that. All right, number 16. An example of multitasking is? And everybody should know what multitasking is, whether or not we remember, yeah, remember the A, doing a background save while typing a document? Yeah. Correct, so it's A. So multitasking is when you are on the one device and you're doing multiple things. You're typing, you're listening to music, you're watching a video, you're texting your friends. That's multitasking. Multiple, doing multiple things on the one device. Excuse me. All right, number 17. Quality Developers is a company that writes programs to do specific jobs for other companies. These programs are called... Special All right. purpose. All right. Why do you say special purpose, Joel? God, it said it's used for a specific job. All right, good. Anybody else? I didn't say it was so, Anna, that's the answer. I don't I'm not saying it's not the answer, but what if somebody has a different opinion? I don't I, I'm not telling you what the answer is yet. Anybody else has a different answer? I'm not hearing from Melisha nor Mikhail nor Talia. All right. Co uh, custom. All right. Some persons might have said custom as well. And as a matter of fact, I'm seeing custom on the paper that I have here. But after reading the question, I it it, it couldn't be custom because 
custom is when you have something already and you basically customize it, yeah. change it up, do something to it. But this says that it is designed for a specific job and the only possible answer could be the special purpose for you. But special purpose software are designed for particular areas and particular companies. So that's the answer B. Then you can remember something. All right, number 18. We have one minute, so it might soon cut off. As soon as it cuts off, I'm going to send you the next link so we can continue. Which of the following is not a software interface? All right. Yeah. Miss B, touch screen. When? Correct. Why did you, why did you remember the? The software interface is Samantha, or you just guess the answer? No, miss. <laughs> you remember them? Mm, kind of, miss. All right. The software interface co command driven would be when you get a blank screen and you have to type in the commands. Menu driven is when you get a list and you have to select an option from the list. And graphical user interface uses a lot of icons. Touch screen is an interface, you know, but it's not software interface. It would be hardware interface because it can, it's something you can touch physically. All right. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to cut off now. So we'll just stop there and I'll, I'll send the link so we can continue. All right. So guys, hurry up and click the link when we stop. All right. 